Every year on the weekend in June closest to the anniversary, the Crow people commemorate the most significant native military victory over the American army, the Battle of the Little Bighorn. And since a major portion of the battle occurred on Crow property, they stage it on the actual site where the battle began, Medicine Tail Cooley. The crowds are treated to superior horsemanship from all kinds of participants, cavalry, mountain men, but what they really come here to see, what really makes this event special, are the Crow horsemen. And men whose ancestors fought on the side of Custer now portray heroes of the native side. Men like Crazy Horse and Gaul. They cross the Little Bighorn River in full battle regalia and tell their ancestors' version of the story of Custer's last stand. If you keep your eyes open and pay attention, you'll find yourself wondering if you've traveled back in time. One of the most impressive moments is watching the Crow horsemen control a herd on the parade ground. They command them seamlessly, and it's apparent why the Crow controlled more horses on the plains than just about any other tribe. The horse has always been an essential part of Crow culture and history, providing mobility and power in securing their way of life. The sights and sounds of this experience give you insight and perspective on an essential chapter of American history and culture that you won't find anywhere else.